Good morning. A couple days ago, we got those jackets. Got those jackets from Viking Cycle. I figured today seems like a good day to go outside and see what I think of them. At least part one. We'll go from here. Let's go try them out. Go to the garage. Trying to put him in the worst mood P1 cleaner than the church shoes Millie point two just to hurt them All red lamps to tease them None of these toys on the least two Made the whole year in a week two Main chick out of their lead two Side chick out of their lead two How so empty need a centipede Alright, let's do this Alright, so this is it. This is the Viking Enforcer jacket. So this is their adventure tour, adventure riding tour jacket, whatever you want to call it. I got this in a nice red and black. There's a few cool features that I really like. First off, I like the way this thing zips up. So if you look at it, first off the zipper is really nice. And if you zip it up, or when you zip it up, you'll notice you got this double piece here, which is cool. So you kind of just it just slides over and snaps, which is always good. Okay, so that's gonna protect the zipper, it's gonna protect some wind, it's gonna protect rain, all kinds of stuff. Supposedly this is a waterproof jacket, is the hope. Unzip on the arm here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the arm right here. There's this little pocket here. And if you take that out, you'll actually see something that you can like clamp onto your keys or something that's small and important that you need to put in there. If you need a spare key for your for your locks or your bags or something like that, you can just kind of slide it in there. Armor-wise, this thing's got all the armor, so armor is on the elbow, armor is on the shoulder, and armor is on the spine. One thing, I'm not sure if the spine is CE proved armor, but still cool. It doesn't feel really tight, it doesn't feel restrictive. It is removable, which is good, so you can take it out if you so choose. It is got piping. All, all motorcycle jackets have some kind of piping. Two front vents, two rear vents in the back, right there, and a, and a removable liner. Now, this is the cool part. This jacket, it has a ridiculous amount of pockets. On the liner itself, you have a pocket. Ready? Right there. Nice. Inside here. Pocket. My guess is, they say sunglass pocket, but you can put whatever you want in there. I'm thinking. Up here, you have, this is the important one, pen slash knife. Yeah, pen slash knife, right in there. I'm guessing, pen, I get it, knife. You know, you're you're out riding, you stop, you're like, I'd like some toast. I'd like some toast, but I have nothing to put, put butter and jam on my toast. No, you do. Right here. Pull your butter knife out. Butter knife. Yeah, that's the only reason I'd have a knife. Inside here, you'll see this one here that says cell phone. And when you remove the liner, there's another pocket inside here. You can put your cell phone, you can actually run the cable all the way up through here. So the cable actually sits inside the jacket and it comes out into your headphones, which is which is cool. Over here, another pocket. And then, this is the ridiculous, oh you got, you got another headphone one over here and another one of these, which is cool. Over here, look at, look at this. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous how big this pocket is. And it's got a foam, like a foam in here, which allows it to hold like a tablet. So you wanna put an iPad in there? Sure, why not put an iPad in there? You wanna carry that small loaf of bread, maybe? Throw it in there for your sandwich with the knife, you know? That's crazy. And then on the back, check this out. On the back, right here, zip, slide. This one I actually really like. I'd actually put my gloves and stuff like that when I'm walking. Does it fit good? Yeah, it's, I got a double XL. I usually take somewhere between an XL and a double XL. I definitely wouldn't want to go any smaller. So if you're a double XL already, you may want to just check the sizing to make sure. Other than that, you know, this is a sub hundred dollar jacket. It's like $89 US. You can't ask for more. Sub hundred dollars. Fantastic. Just little things that I wanted to talk about. And these are kind of the good and bad. A lot of Velcro, which is cool. Makes it easy to, Arm length is good. I would have liked to have seen it maybe a tiny, tiny bit longer. If you look at the pockets, again, Velcro, these pockets here, you just, you come in from the top. What I would have liked to have seen possibly is to be able to come in this way, as well as just this way. That's, that's really about it. So this was really more of a first look of this jacket. We're gonna be heading out to Daytona for bike week. And when we get there, we'll do, I'll be wearing this jacket for some of our demo rides, hopefully. And I'll be able to give you a better review because if you look out here right now, it's snowy and nobody's riding. Soon, that one's coming soon. Just watch for it. All right guys, we will talk to you later.